In a previous video, I showed how to check out a former revision or a former commit of a GitHub project and make a new branch out of it in NetBeans. In this video, I want to commit and push those changes, and then I want to do a pull request to bring the separate branch back into the master branch. So first of all, we made a couple of changes after we pulled out a previous revision as a new branch. I'm going to do just a bit of housekeeping here. There's no need, no need to uh, set this license plate fee numerous times because the example that we did was setting a static, calling a static method to set a static, the value of a static attribute. So just a bit of tidy up here. I'll go ahead and leave the license plate fee that I added on line number 34. Now I'm going to save. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose get and commit. And I'm just going to say, okay, tidy up our branch. And then we'll choose commit like so. Next, I go to team, and then I'm going to choose remote, and I'm going to choose push to upstream. We'll give this just a moment. Now I want to show something interesting that, is, that has occurred since I pushed. You see, I have this multiple objects, no loops, less than a minute ago, and it says compare and pull request. Let me describe that a little bit more in depth. So this is our repository. Normally we have this branch master, but take a look, we now have a separate branch called multiple loops, no objects. And if I take a look at the commit history here, I'll see tidy up our branch, as well as a few other things I'd committed previously. Now if I go back to the branch master, let's look at the commits that we have here. We have nested loops array with companion variable, but we do not have the tidy up our branch commit that I just put in the separate branch called multiple objects. So essentially I have two different branches of the same source of the same project. And these two different branches look a little bit different because the newer branch, multiple objects, no loops, has a commit that the master branch does not have. So how do I take that additional logic that's in our separate branch and how do I merge it back into master? Well, I do a pull request like we see here. So I choose compare and pull request, click the button. It says it can't automatically merge, so I might need to do a little bit of uh, manual work here. So we'll say uh, create pull request. Okay. And now it notices there's some conflicts in drivers, so I'm going to say resolve conflicts. Now what does that mean? It means it notices that I've made changes in master and I've also made changes in the separate branch, multiple objects, no loops, and some of those changes don't agree. So I choose resolve conflicts, and let's see. It shows me here what's in conflict. Some things I added with multiple objects, no loops, and what already existed in master. Now let me take a look. Multiple objects, no loops was going back in time because I was trying to create my vehicle and your vehicle as two separate objects, where the newer way, we simply create as many vehicles as we want in this loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with what's in master. I'm going to go ahead and take off most of the stuff here that's in multiple objects, no loops, except I will save one thing. I am going to save this one static method call. So I take that static method call because that's what we added in our branch. I simply add it to the top. And now I take the rest of this notation and choose backspace. And I also take out this slash master. Okay, now we go down again and it looks like there's another conflict here again, multiple objects, no loops. Uh, it has a few statements here that I've added. I don't need those. We're going to go ahead, highlight and delete those. And we are going to leave what was in the master branch. We'll take off this uh, master tag as well. And I choose delete. So now I take a look and I just want to give this a quick once over to make sure that it looks good. I'm declaring a variable, my vehicle. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm creating a new vehicle object and I'm adding the vehicle to the collection of all vehicles, which I'm declaring right here. I am going to make one subtle change. I'm gonna take this variable declaration and I'm going to move it inside the loop. I think that looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, it's gonna let me uh, do something a little bit easier. And we'll take the comment as well and a little bit more tidy up. So you see, we're not in our editor. We are in, we're just in GitHub over the web but I can kind of take a look and make sure that this merge works out as I want it to work out. So everything looks pretty good. I'm going to go up and I'm going to say, okay, mark is resolved and commit merge. 
and it says committing merge. We'll give it just a moment. And I now go to my vehicle's NetBeans project, and I'm going to take a look at pull requests. I see a pull request and a number one here, so I hit, I hit pull request. Here's the multiple objects, no loops that we were looking at earlier. Now, because I've worked through those merge differences, notice that it's now able to merge, where before it said I can't merge. So I'm going to choose merge pull request, and I'm simply going to say, okay, uh, merge, merge uh, historic branch plus changes with master, and then we'll choose confirm merge, and you see it says merging, and it says pull request successfully merged and closed. Let's go back out to vehicles NetBeans and let's take a look at our branches. You see we have branch master. Now branch master is showing 20 commits. And what commits do we see? We see the tidy up our branch, which we did in a separate branch. And then we see our merge branch uh, where we were doing our tidy up, our merge conflict. And finally where we merge the pull request. So all of this is now part of our master branch. The multiple objects, no, uh, no loops still exist. We can kill that off if we need to uh, because we've now put everything back into master. Now, let's take care of it from the NetBeans side. In NetBeans, I right click on the project, choose Git, and I'm going to say checkout. We'll say checkout revision. Okay, uh, revision. I'm going to say master just like so, and then we'll choose select. And uh, everything looks good. I go ahead and choose checkout. And we'll give this just a moment. And now with it checked out, I right click and I say Git. And I say remote. And I say pull from upstream. Which means get the latest changes from this branch. Now what's interesting is you see that I've switched branch and then I, and then I did a pull from upstream. Well, let's see what we have. We have the changes from both the master branch that we originally started with, as well as a couple of tweaks we did in that side branch called multiple objects, no, loop, no loops. Notice we have vehicle set license plate fee here. Notice we also have the vehicle declared down in the do loop where it used to be declared up above. So we have the changes that we added from our separate branch, including, let's take a look at vehicle itself, including the static license plate fee that I have here, and the static methods. If you remember, we created those in a previous video uh, in a separate branch. But we have that and we have it mixed in with the absolute latest from tip from our static branch, from our master branch, including all of the looping that we added. If you see the do while and the for loop, all of this now together. I can run the program quickly and just confirm that it still works as we plan. So gallons of gas 10, miles per gallon 10, odometer 10,000. Do you want to create another vehicle? Uh, sure. Uh, gallons of gas 20, 20 miles per gallon, 20,000 on the odometer. That's enough vehicles for now. 100 miles to travel, reimbursement rate of 35, and we don't need to create another trip. And if we see here, uh, if we take a look at our output, we'll see that our first car ran uh, 100 miles, so it has 10,100 on the odometer, 100 miles, 10 gallons of gas, 10 miles per gallon, leaves us with zero gallons. We have a reimbursement total. Our second, our second iteration ran 20 uh, gallons of gas, 20,000 on the odometer. After running for 100 miles at 20 miles per gallon, we have 15 gallons left in the tank and 20,100 on the odometer. So all of our changes are now together. That's how we can resolve merge conflicts and also merge two branches with GitHub and NetBeans. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.